dear friends welcome back to chenagiri's nursing education tutorials in last session we have discussed about concept of health in that i have told briefly about biomedical ecological psychosociological and biologist view or concept regarding health continuation with concept of health i had told to you that we will discuss in detail about all these concept in next upcoming session yes friends in this session i am going to discuss about changing concept of health i am very much thankful to you all for your kind support in making my lecture efficient and effective here i request you to tell your friends to subscribe the channel for more upcoming lectures about community health nursing in which i am going to cover almost all the topics of community health nursing for all nursing students and teachers and do not forget to like comment and share the video and press the bell icon to get a regular notification whenever i upload the new lecture videos yes friends let us begin with the today's session that is changing concepts of health in olden days health is commonly viewed as absence of disease as time passed many people viewed health in their own concepts among that psychologists said health as sound mind in a sound body here the psychologist gave the concept of health based on the mental status comparing with body state of an individual means if your mind functioning well then you are said to be healthy whereas sociologist said that health is ability of an individual in maintaining social relationship with others here sociologist gave the concept of health based on social behavior of an individual if you are free from conflicts with your family members relatives friends and neighbors etc then you are said to be healthy then ecologists said that health is equilibrium between man and his environment here ecologist gave the concept of health in relation to man and his environment environment may be external environment in which we all are living or it may be familial social occupational or internal body environment if you are able to maintain balance between environment and your body then you are said to be healthy and biologists said that health is disturbed due to disease causing organism here biologist gave the concept of health based on the external determinant that is biological thing which is going to affect the health of an individual that may be microorganisms or it may be macro organisms you may say that bacteria virus protozoa etc by keeping in mind all above concepts can be broadly classified in following four concepts those are as follows the first one is biomedical concept of health the biomedical concept of health has the basis of germ theory invented by louis pasteur until this the health has been viewed as an absence of disease according to this concept there is an agent or microorganism which deteriorates the health in human being in this concept the medical profession viewed the human body as a machine disease as consequence of breakdown of the machine and one of the physician task is to repair the breakdown machine in this diagram we can easily understand the whole concept of biomedical theory i hope all of you have understood the concept of biomedical theory and they have only focused on biological disease causing agents that is microorganisms here they fail to explain the role of environmental factors which are responsible for causing disease they also fail to explain the role of mental and psychological factors which are affecting the mental health 
Hence, drawbacks of this concept gave rise to another concept of health, that is, ecological concept of health. R. J. Du Bois, a French-born American ecologist, in his book named So Human an Animal, defined health as health implies the relative absence of pain and discomfort and continuous adoption and adjustment to the environment to ensure optimal function. According to this, the ecologist tried to explain that environmental factors such as air, water, light, climate, disaster and lifestyles have direct impact on health of human being. Any change in these factors will lead to ill health. Hence, the ecologist gave an attractive hypothesis that is, health is a dynamic equilibrium between man and his environment and disease is maladjustment of human being to the environment. The ecological concept had explained only effects of external environment on health of an individual and not tried to explain internal causes of illness such as psychological and sociological where the man will come across with these factors in his day to day life. Hence, the deficiencies of ecological concept gave rise to another concept named psychosocial concept of health. Sociologists said that man is a social animal and the family is primary unit of socialization where man can learn many aspects of society, family, behavior, love and relationship between other members of society. So the sociologist and psychologist gave a relative concept of health as psychosocial concept which mainly dependent on internal environment of a man in many ways such as his knowledge, thinking, capacity, his behavior with others and responsibilities in life. Any disturbance in above said factors may cause mental or psychosocial illness which in turn cause relative psychological and physical sickness in man. They also said that if man is psychosocially healthy then he can easily adopt any situation in relation to external environment. Hence, they defined health as sound mind in a sound body. Friends, the psychosocial concept of health mainly focused on the social life of human being and not told anything related to other two concepts. So, it is also found inadequate concept of health. Hence, Deficiency of this concept gave rise to another concept named holistic concept. Holistic concept of health was synthesized from all above mentioned health concepts. According to this model, the health is multifactorial phenomena and they said that the disease is result of disturbances caused in internal as well as external environment or through the biological agents, physical agents, social, psychological, physiological and spiritual factors. Hence, they concluded that social, physical, physiological, psychological, biological and environmental factors have their own impact on health. Hence, this concept had given emphasis on promotion and protection of health by adopting holism. Yes friends, the health is multifactorial phenomena and once understanding about the holistic concept Many people from different disciplines have tried to define the health. Let us see some of the acceptable definitions of health. Webster defined health as the condition of being sound in body, mind or spirit, especially freedom from physical disease or pain. The Oxford English Dictionary says that 
soundness of body or mind that condition in which its functions are effectively discharged stuart duval defined health as health enables an individual to set goals to find out various means to decide and to take action to control environment through emotional mental and physical strength perkins defines health is a state of relative equilibrium of body form and function which results from its successful dynamic adjustment to forces tending to disturb it the above given definition satisfies the concept of health and they fail in explaining clear idea of what the really the health means hence the most satisfactory and widely accepted definition of health is given by the who that is world health organization in the year 1948 in its constitution as health is a state of complete physical mental social and spiritual well being and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity let us see the real meaning of this definition in who definition we can visualize four major terms those are physical mental social and spiritual as well as the not merely absence of disease or infirmity so let us see what the definition is going to say about the health first we can visualize with physical wellness or health physical wellness or health reflects a healthy body maintained by eating right exercising regularly avoiding harmful habits making informed and responsible decision about health seeking medical care whenever needed and participating in activities that helps to prevent illness a person suffering with physical disability or a chronic illness or other issues is not necessarily said to be unhealthy but must find a balance in health decisions to live the quality of life which their body allows next definition includes mental intellectual wellness or health it requires understanding emotions and coping with problems that arise in every day's life a healthy person can have and express a wide range of emotions such as anger sadness or joy and love an unhealthy person either buries those emotions or express those emotions in inappropriate ways such as violence extreme depression suicide or mania etc it also involves having an open mind for new ideas and concepts because a healthy person will try to learn variety of lessons an individual will ask questions about a health care need for better understand and learn about their body and choices healthy individual will also seek understanding to learn lessons from his life next the definition includes state of social health or wellness it refers to the ability to perform social roles effectively comfortably and without harming others in this domain we look at relationships social norms and an individual reaction to those relationships and norms it is important that individual social boundaries are discussed and acceptance of differences in individual boundaries is encouraged again prejudices fall into this category from the perspective of respecting cultural religious and individual differences occupational wellness reflects your ability to enjoy what you are doing to earn for living or to contribute to the society this is specialized domain that can be included in the social health area and is an important focus for most of the adults next 
the definition also includes state of spiritual health spiritual health reflects a state of harmony between you and others it also means you have an understanding of your place in the greater universe keep in mind that this is not talking about religion specifically although religion can factor into a personal sense of harmony instead the focus is broadened to such a perspective that it is hard to confine to a simple list of factors for example an exercise to find spiritual balance in a chaotic moment is to go outside to a pleasant place breathe deeply and smell the scents around you see the details in the view hear the sounds feel the textures and when possible taste your surroundings such as salt spray this is one of the reasons why food holidays are so important to most of us and are associated with those warm fuzzy feelings spirituality ground us in our sense of place in the larger more chaotic universe with taste sound smells textures sights and memories not only has this definition also said not merely the absence of disease it means no one is 100% perfect in health each and every individual is suffering with one or the other illness we always witness these factors even though with minimal deficiency all are always try to balance their health with their disability for example the people who are suffering with eye error may correct their eye sights by using spectacles or who is suffering from hearing loss they use hearing aids etc one or the other way adjust themselves to perform daily living activities effectively and efficiently such kind of individuals are called to be healthy individuals and who are unable to maintain balance in their life or cannot able to perform daily living activities are said to be unhealthy individuals so friends this is about concept and definition of health and in next session i will discuss another concept that is changing concept of community health till that time take care and thank you for watching and listening my lecture thank you